Hello and welcome to another Anthony Railway B video. Now, a couple of you were asking me how I made this layout modular. Now as you can see, it's a lot smaller than it appeared to be in the last video and that's because it's in bits. But don't worry, it'll only take me a few minutes to put it back together again. In fact, I'm going to put it back together again in one take in this video whilst explaining to you how I've made it so that it's so easy to take apart and put back together again. Now, you may have noticed this layout is in three modules. There's the permanent model, module, and that's where all the power goes from the controller, and it's also where I have fiddly out of the track. There's also a second module, which goes on at the end, and then there's the front module, that is the most visible module of the layout, and that's where you're gonna see a lot of scenery. Now, there's three factors that you've got to bear in mind when making your layout modular. And that is, how are you going to secure the boards together? How are you going to power those boards once they're put together? And uh, also, how are you going to make sure that your layout doesn't break whenever you take it apart and put it back together again? Uh, the, uh, the solution to that third point is easy. Just make sure that you glue down all of the tracks and when, you, when I'm going to put buildings down, I'm probably going to glue them down as well. That or, if they're really big, just make them removable. So, we'll start off with the first thing that I did to make a modular layout, and that is these swing out legs. They swing out from the permanent section of the board. And as if you can have a look over at the end here, they're basically secured with the nuts, a bolt and a washer and they, uh, I basically drilled a hole through the wood of the permanent section and attached these. Now because the floor's uneven, I have to put down a couple of coasters under the legs as well. But that's not too much of a fuss either. So we'll get these legs out. It was really easy, it just, these, the nuts and bolts, I just found them in my dad's tool, toolbox and the legs, that's spare wood. Now the next thing, we've got to make sure that the board attaches to the other board in exactly the same place every single time. And the way that I've decided to do this is you see those holes over there? I've those fit it where some dowels attached to the other board will go in. And that basically makes sure that the boards join together at exactly the same spot every time. These are universal fit wooden fluted dowels. Take a good look at that because you'll find that very useful in making your layout modular. Now let's take this board oh, and be careful not to destroy the house whilst assembling the layout and put it together. There is one more element that I used to secure these boards together and make sure that nobody accidentally pulls it apart once it's in place. And that is these little briefcase latches. You can get several of those for about a fiver on eBay, though you'll probably have to wait about a month or so to get them. Even so, it's well worth it. And now that those latches are going on, I can be sure that this board isn't going anywhere. So. Staying on the topic of securing the boards to themselves together, here's the third board. But the thing is, I have to make it stand up without any legs folding out from the main board itself. And that's the thing, because I don't have any space for any fold out legs on this board. So instead, I've put fold out legs on the table itself. So we'll fold them out, like so. That's really easy. These. I've got some metal fold-out units which I got on eBay and for about £10 altogether. And I'll leave a link to something like them in the description. But then, that just goes straight on. And then, when it go attaches to the same wooden dowels that I used to attach the main, the front board to the permanent board. 
There we go. A little bit fiddly. And then the latches go on. We've got one latch underneath to put down. There we go. Oh, and one more thing. You could say this is the fourth module. It's the moving track section. I'll talk about that in the next video. But yeah, with all that down, there's one, there's one more thing that I need to cover, and that's once the boards are perfectly secured together, how are we going to power the tracks? Now, the thing is, I don't want to be powering these tracks using rail joiners, because rail joiners are very fiddly, and they wear out. So you see, if you look very carefully, these rails aren't actually secured together at all, electronically. It's, they're only just stuck to the boards, which are secured together in exactly the, the right spot. So, to make sure that the tracks are powered, we have to go under the board. For my third little thing, you know you can get, on eBay again, you can get these mono jacks and you can get mono jack extension leads where one end you have a plug the other end you have a socket now what I did I ordered four of these and what I did to each and every one of them is cut them in half solder the wires that go to the track to the ends of them and then that means that having soldered the track power to the ends of these wires I can just plug the wires together from the main board to the outer boards and I've got the same thing at the other end here in fact it might be better for you to see they just plug together and those are the three elements really that make this layout possible to be modular and you can see I managed to assemble the whole thing in, within the period of one video and explain it all to you at the same time. So I hope this was useful. If you'd like me to go into more detail about anything, I am planning to do some videos on soldering and I might actually use one of those extension lead project things as an example of uh, something to solder. But yeah, I hope this was useful and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. One more thing. If you're enjoying these videos so much that you'd like to support the channel in other ways than liking and subscribing, then there is something that you can do at the same time as get yourself some music to listen to. And that is by ordering my latest album. Yes, I write songs. In fact, the instrumental music that you heard in this video was the um, instrument, uh, instrumental version of a couple of songs on this album. There's seven of them, it's half an hour of music that I think you'll like and yeah only $4.99 on eBay so if you'd like to help fund the model railway and have some or just have something nice to listen to then it's there to order thanks for listening